Oh, I hope everybody can hear me. There goes the camera. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm I think I'm here. I don't know. I'm not feeling all that great this morning. I just get church, which sucks. But I don't think they wanted me there. Just I feel like you know, not good. <sighs> Didn't sleep good, all this other stuff. But what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you my process of using a cuddle bug which is this little guy here pretty heavy little thing um lots of cardboard spacers a bit of aluminum and a um embossing folder these are meant for paper but i've discovered that they work pretty well on leather so i've already cut my leather out let's go down here so you can see what i'm doing uh, I mean, this camera are fighting. There we go. All right, I've already wet it a little bit. I've already cut it to just a little bit over what size I, I wanted it. I want this six inches as I'm uh, making some practices for a um, bookmark that a, a person um, asked about. So, um, before this gets too wet for the tape to stick, uh, I don't want it spreading out or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is, um, if I can get the tape off of here, I'm going to go ahead and tape the back of this. What this does is, uh, as I said, it prevents it from um, squishing. Because uh, once the leather is wet, whew, once the leather is wet, uh, it kind of goes to mush. And that's not really good when you're trying to emboss or tool on it. So, I'm going to cover that whole piece up. There we go. Might stick in some places, it might not stick in other. And because I do not want it sticking to inside my cuddle bag, of course, I'm going to trim all this off. Just have zero energy today, guys. Hmm. No, it's not COVID. It's called muscle spasms all night long. I'm so tired of them. Anyway, life goes on, right? Just keep on smiling and put the big girl panties on and make the best of the day. Whatever that may look like for you. <laughs> if it's getting out of your PJs, yeah, you. <laughs> you know, I'm just like small, vi small victories. I'm okay with that. All right, and I can see it's not really all that wet. Um, this is the. Let me see if I can find a piece of it. This is the original color before it's wet, and I notice there's a lot of light places. So what I'm going to do is squirt it down again because I, I really want this well cased and encasing just means wet basically um, you can't work with leather unless it's wet and um, it won't hold any um, designs or anything you do unless it is has been cased and um, oh, that's look, looking good I don't know if you can see that you probably can't but um, it's stopped wicking up water as fast, which is a good good thing. That means we're pretty well cased. Now I'm just gonna let this go all the way around. And I do my embossing actually pretty wet. I've uh, with the tape on the back, it does pretty well. Uh, it doesn't smush out around like that. 
normally when you when you're tooling you definitely do not want your your leather that wet okay because this is all standing on top I'm just gonna wipe it off real quick just kind of not drying it drying it I'm just getting the surface water off give that a few seconds while I set up my machine and the one thing I noticed I'm gonna give you this tip okay these come in a positive and negative side um, this one actually pushes down into the let me see this one pushes down um, the image is raised so this will push down so this will make an, a negative image this side actually allows the leather to fill the gaps giving us a positive image and this is the one that I prefer um, I like the image just stand it out um, e either way works this is just a lot more subtle than this one and so we're going to be using this one this is my cherry blossoms I love cherry blossoms I think they're just so beautiful so this is what we're going to be using and I'm going to be lining it up just like that so we're going to set this aside and get our open this guy up all right so now we start stacking the paper and um we have to do this sideways to let's see so let you see what i'm doing i think that'd be the best thing let me put the, the roller on my side okay see that those they're pretty pretty easily so let me see what's going on here okay i think we're okay there so I'm going to line that up again, place this on my board, right at the beginning of uh, where it's going to go under. This just helps it press down. Um, so I, I, you know, definitely recommend getting something hard. Let's see, does that push through easily? Kind of does. We're going to give it. I'm sorry guys, I gotta push this to me because it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. And it's it's Vulcan this morning. So let's run that back out and let's take out one paper out of the bottom and see if that will help us. And not easy to get started. Most definitely, especially doing it this way. Okay, let's take out another paper. It's just really trial and error. Oh, that, see, that one's too much. That doesn't give us really. So, what I'm going to do is place this one here. Just slide it up in there. Let's see if we can force that through. There we go. Still a little easy. That's not going to make the impression I want. So I'm going to add another piece. This isn't easy, but it's worth it. Okay. That's still going through way, way easier than I would hope. So what I'm going to do is bring this all the way back out. See what we actually got going on here. Probably nothing at this point. Yeah. Nothing at this point. So and you want to be careful when you're moving this around so that you don't move your image on your leather. I haven't really found it to be a problem because it likes to stick. <laughs>
There we go. That feels a little tighter. But it's still not as tight as I'd like it. So I'm going to add another piece. And it, basically this is what I do. Just add, keep on adding pieces until it feels like it's getting a really good um, Ah, there we go. There we go. That feels a lot better. It should be not hard, but there should be a little resistance. Now, once I've done this a couple times, I will add another piece. Because it's, it's I want it to really have a great image. And what is going on here? I just saw getting all wacky on me this morning. Come on, baby. That looks good. That looks like we might have a really good impression of that one. Where's my. Okay. And you can feel when your your pasture <laughs> uh, embossing clay. And I just kind of go back and forth until I feel like it's already all squished and squished and doing right. And then I'll pull it all out and I'll look at it. The great thing about this, let's move that out of the way. You can reposition. Uh, there's a lot of water coming out of there, which is okay. Let's see what we got. Okay, so let's see if you can see that. I'm going to have to reposition and probably come from the back side and go down because I don't like uh, it, didn't give me a really good impression over there. So I'm going to do my best to line this back up, which is like I said, pretty easy this way. You know, in Boston, kind of gives you a, a line, which is nice. Okay. There we go. And now we're going to go back in this way, top side. Um, problems seeing there we go all right now this metal should slide right through there and it does so let's see if we can add another one or two pieces here up underneath this metal there we go I think this might be the last piece we can get in there All the way through, but all right, and now there we go. I'm hoping that should be a good impression. I think what it was was my bottom cardboards were kind of sneaking off on me, so it didn't give me a really good impression there. I'm not really jazzing on this end here. So let me see if I have another piece of little cardboard or some kind of cardstock or something to just shim up that last little area here. I'm just going to put this on the other side and let that slide through. 
There we go. That'll give us a really good, nice impression. All right, I think we should be finished with this. Let's go ahead and pull all this out. One of these days I need to kind of buff the edges on that. It's a little bit scary. Okay, now let's see what we've got. Let's pull this off of here. Ah, here we go. Let's kind of pat some of the water off. I might give this a little second to dry and go back over it, but there's your embossed letter. And uh, like I said, now it needs to dry. I am probably going to go over it again just to really make those things pop because I'm going to be actually cutting this. Um, I may flip it over and, and kind of do a reverse on that side. But um, as you can see, it's a very easy way to emboss your leather. So um, I hope you all enjoyed that. I'm pooped, so I'm, um, <laughs> I'm going to sit down, so, but anyway, I hope everybody has a good day, and, um, hope everybody enjoyed that little bitty tutorial on how I emboss leather. Have a great day.